Man, it seems like an eternity since the last time that I uploaded the video, man. So what is going on, YouTube, the assist man? And yes, I finally am coming back at you guys with another YouTube video. Now, inside of this video, man, I had to take it back. I had to go back and play. This is my very first game in over four months. Yes, I have not even touched this game in over four months. As a matter of fact, I had to re-download it because I didn't even have it on my Xbox. So I went back and tried out to play some Black Ops 3 and uh, see if I still had it. I knew I was going to be a little bit rusty, but just to see if I still had it on Black Ops 3. So you're watching me play my very first game of Black Ops 3 since like August of last year. Haven't touched it since, so bear with me. It might be a little bit of rust in this video. But that's just gameplay, man. The topic at hand is what is important in my videos. And before we go ahead and get into the topic at hand, I just want to address, because a lot of you guys have been asking me, yo, where have I been? How come I haven't been uploading? Am I alive? Yes, I'm alive. Um, I haven't been uploading for a number of various reasons. Uh, first of all, um, mostly due to the fact it's work. You know, YouTube is not my real job. I have a very, very busy real job. And a lot of you guys know I live in Las Vegas. So um, there's a lot of stuff that happens around like the, the month of January that makes me extremely busy because in Las Vegas we have lots of conventions like CES and like the Adult Film Network Porn Convention. Regardless, we have tons of conventions here and there's a lots of people here so my job gets pretty pretty busy around this time of year and on top of that it's the end of the year so with it being the end of the year starting into the new year there's a whole bunch of other stuff that I have to do like paperwork for tax documentations and stuff like that I just haven't had the time to upload so that's reason number one. Reason number two why I haven't been uploading, man, is because YouTube is really broke. You know, I made a video a couple weeks ago about their new notification and their new comment system and how it broke YouTube in the comment section and stuff like that, and it fixed itself. But then about a week or two ago, it got all fucked up again, and now it looks like it's here to stay. So YouTube has this new comment notification system now. I'm sure you guys have seen it, you know, if you've been commenting on videos and stuff. If you look at the top right-hand side of, you know, your YouTube notification box where your bell is at, formerly you would have a bell meaning you had a notification, and if you left a comment or somebody replied to your comment on that bell, you can go ahead and just respond back to them in that drop-down menu. It's not like that anymore. Now it just tells you you have a comment, and... Or or a notification and when you click that link it actually just opens up the video of the comment and in in the exact same uh, box you were looking at it doesn't even open it up in a separate link or in a separate window or in a separate tab no more it opens it up in one box and then now you have to search for the comments it's like it doesn't even take you to the comment anymore so man YouTube has been so broken lately with that and then on top of that I've been reading reports and have seen it myself that the sub boxes are broke that people are uploading videos and the subscribers are not even getting them in their sub feeds so I'm just like, man, I'm busy as hell as it is. I don't have time to take hours upon hours out of my day to go ahead and make videos and upload videos and play video games if people aren't even going to get them in their sub boxes and the, and the notification in the comment system is all fucked up. YouTube is just in a fucked up place right now, man, and that's just me keeping it 100% real with you guys, man. You know, it's very, very distracting as a content creator to actually want to make videos and bring videos out when the system that you're actually bringing the media to is not working correctly and is full of bugs and glitches and it's just a, an unstable shitty system as in what YouTube is right now in the year 2017. Google needs to make some changes man because it is not working out. YouTube is so broken right now. So guys leave a comment down below. Let me know if you think YouTube is broken right now as well. Do you see these new comment sections, these new notifications? With all that being said man, the main reason I haven't been uploading as much is like I said, it has a lot to do with work. YouTube is not my real job. I barely make any money off, off YouTube at all. So I definitely can't take that much time away anymore from my real job to actually you know upload videos that people aren't even going to see that I'm not even going to make any pennies on at all but with that being said I will um get my what do you call it my I guess you could say my normal upload schedule back here going probably in like the next two to three weeks uh or less I I you know things should calm down a lot for me around the first week of February which is only about you know two, less than two weeks from now but we got that out the way and that's a long ass time, damn near five minutes. But now let's go ahead and get into the topic at hand. 
Now this topic is not going to take that long to talk about, and that's why I had to tell you guys what was going on as you watch this gameplay and me looking up in the sky because I literally had spawned and died instantly by a random grenade, spawned again and was pissed and then died instantly by another guy. But that's enough of the gameplay, man. The topic at hand. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare was the number one selling game of 2016. And people are in an uproar about this. They're like, oh my god, Infinite Warfare was the number one selling game of 2016. It sold more copies than anything and blah blah blah. Guys, first of all, you need to take that with a grain of salt. Because everybody who has a brain could have seen the writing on the wall months ago. Now, first of all, I do want to say that I don't think those numbers are 100% accurate because it does not factor in um, digital sales of PC games and things like that. I still am on the fence about thinking that I believe that Overwatch sold more copies than Call of Duty in 2016. But that's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. Based upon all those numbers from Overwatch PC were not generated into those numbers, and there's a lot of them. But regardless, let's just say what it is. I mean, Overwatch or uh, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare was the number one selling game of 2016. That should come to no surprise to anybody, because I made a video about this months ago say, saying this exact thing was going to happen. I said that Infinite Warfare, I, I, you know, at first I was like, man, I really want to see Battlefield 1 outsell, inf outsell Call of Duty, so Call of Duty finally learns a lesson. But then after I seen, you know, how bad Battlefield 1 was in the first couple weeks, man, I was like, there is no way in hell that this game is going to outsell Infinite Warfare. It's just not. They had their opportunity and they just didn't do it. So I made a video about this months ago saying, you know, predicting that Call of Duty would outsell Battlefield 1, even though none of us really wanted that to happen to teach Call of Duty a lesson and to, hope, to hopefully make them actually start making better games again. And number two... I said that Call of Duty Infinite Warfare would be the best-selling game of 2016 more than likely based off one big factor. And I've said this for years, and some of you guys remember my videos on this, is that Call of Duty is a shell of its former self. They are no longer selling you a game. Call of Duty hasn't sold you a good Call of Duty game in years. We all know this. What Call of Duty is now doing is they are selling you a name. So they're not selling you a game, they are selling a name. And basically what that means is that people are buying Call of Duty just based on the name itself. They are just thinking that, hey, it's Call of Duty, it's going to be good, blah, 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 I always buy it, this, this, and that. And then you have the people who are like, man, you know, Ghost was so bad, so I got to give, you know, uh, Advanced Warfare a shot because it's Sledgehammer. I want to see what they can do. And then Advanced Warfare was so bad and people were like, oh, I got to buy Black Ops 3 because, you know, it's, it's uh, Treyarch. I got to see what Treyarch can do. And it's like, damn, it was like, oh, I gotta get Infinite Warfare because, you know, it's it's Infinity War now with their new system, their new, dev, their new dev team, blah, blah, blah. It's like, people are always finding excuses to still go out and buy this game. Let's cut right to the meat of the bones, man. Call of Duty sucks. It hasn't been the same now in like four years. And all they've been doing is riding off of a name, not a game, okay? Don't make a difference what they do. This game is still going to sell millions of copies. I've said this for the past two years now. They could literally come out with a blank box. They could come out with a game <laughs> in the store and and it won't even have to... There could be like no like commercials of it, no pre-launch gameplay of it, no nothing. And all they have to do is go put it in Best Buy, put it in GameStop, put it in Walmart. People are going to walk in and still buy it by the millions without even seeing the game because they are just buying the name. That's all they are doing. And just because Call of Duty Infinite Warfare was the number one selling game of 2016, that doesn't mean anything. That means nothing at all. That means more people just fell for their tricks, more people fell for their tactics, and that was it. I mean, I want to see, obviously it didn't win Game of the Year, because Overwatch won Game of the Year. I want to see a, a poll or a stat that says, how many people that bought Call of Duty Infinite Warfare that are actually still playing it now in January of 2017, just three months after the game came out. Show me those numbers. Show me the amount of people that actually purchased the game, that actually A, still own the game right now at the end of January 2017, and B, are still playing the game. I guarantee you, you will find less than 25% of the people that originally purchased the game back in November are actually a, either A, still own the game, or B, still playing the game daily. Because I just don't think anybody's playing this game or cares about it anymore, because... It's that broken. I mean, just because you sell a lot of stuff doesn't mean people are going to like it. I mean, we could just bring that into anything. Let's talk about Donald Trump, okay? Just because over 50 million people voted for Donald Trump and he won the presidency doesn't mean everybody is going to like him. So just because Infinite Warfare sold that was the best-selling game of 2016 
That means absolutely nothing. They didn't sell the game. They sold the name. And the only game that was sold that even made Infinite Warfare sell a ton of copies was two things. Modern Warfare Remastered and Zombies. Because there is a big, big Zombies game uh, community that bought that game just for the Zombies. And I was personally one of them. And then you have the nostalgic community and the old school players that their sole purpose of purchasing that game was to buy Modern Warfare Remastered. So you could sit here and say, oh yeah, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare was the number one selling game of 2016 all you want. But the facts prove that it was not. Because the number one selling game of 2016, more than likely, was Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered and Call of Duty Zombies. And then Infinite Warfare just, you know, kind of tagged along. So anyway, man, that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, man, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up like button. Can we get 100 likes on this video for my reemergence, man? And please leave a comment down below. Even though YouTube is completely broken and is screwing over content creators right now, I probably won't even see your comment or probably won't even be notified that you left the comment, but I'll try my hardest to actually find it and respond back to you like I always do. So anyway, YouTube, this is the Assist Man, and until next time, I am out.